Have you ever felt surprised or curious or joyful that it made you want to move? African dance and storytelling this week on New Victory Arts Break. Hi, I'm Olni, a teaching artist from the New Victory Theater, and today we're going to use African dance to tell a family story. The many nations, tribes, and people of the African continent have their own dance styles rooted in unique history and community rituals. Many of the dances are associated with specific celebrations or ceremonies, while other dances are social expressions of emotion that can help tell stories. Many African dance styles have been passed down for generations, so it's important to perform them in a particular way without improvising or changing them. Many tribes have a dedicated authority or a master dancer who preserves and teaches the tribe's traditional dances. It's the master dancer's job to ensure that everyone knows the proper moves. Today, I will be your master dancer. There are so many African dance styles to choose from. Today, we are going to learn more modern dances from two different West African countries, Ghana and Nigeria. I've chosen six that I wanna show you today, and then we'll use them to choreograph a personal story. Joining me today are Melissa from the New 42 Youth Corps and Siobhan from New Victory Education. Hello. Let's dance. The first move I want to show you is the choku body. The emotion I associate with this dance is feeling powerful or strong. So you're going to start out by making a fist and you're going to hit the back of your hand to your knee and we're going to do it on each side twice. Here we go. And one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The next move I want to show you is question. The emotion I associate with this move is curiosity. So you're gonna start out with your hands open and you're simply gonna bring them up as you go down on both sides. And you can play with being low and high. Let's try it together, ready? And low and high and low and high. The next move I want to show you is called Shaku Shaku. The emotion I associate with this move is sadness. So we're gonna start with our arms going here, open, here, open, and our feet are gonna step with the leg kicking up on the other side. Together, it looks like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's try it together. Ready? And one, two, three, four. The next move I want to show you is XM. The motion I associate with this move is love. So you're gonna start with your hands crossed over your chest and you're gonna pump them in and out on each side. Ready? Let's do it together. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next move I want to show you is Yauzi. The emotion I associate with this move is surprise. So we're gonna start by throwing our arms up, coming from our chest, and we're gonna do four arms on each side. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The last move I wanna show you is the zanku. The emotion I associate with this move is joy. So we're gonna start by bending our feet, and you're gonna cross your arms and you can either make a fist or keep your fingers straight. You're gonna step side to side, step touch, step touch, step touch, step touch, and then you add your shoulders so you have a move that looks like this. Let's try it together. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Now that we have our dance moves, how do we use them to tell a family story? First, Think of a story from your family that you'd like to share. It could be the story of where your family comes from or something more recent like a family trip or a tradition you have. Once you have your story in mind, fill in this story template. I'll do it with you. The story I want to share is about my family Christmas breakfast. My favorite part of this story is 
when all of my cousins got together and we had fun. It made me feel love. Looking back now, I feel joyful. Each part of your story can have a different emotion associated with it and a different dance style. Of the movements we learned earlier, which ones do you think fit your story best? Remember, the movements were Chuckle Buddy for power and strength, Question for curiosity, Shaku Shaku for sadness, XM for love, Yauzi for surprise, and Zanku for joy. My story has moments of love and joy, so I'm going to use XM and Zanku when I share my story. Now we're ready to put it all together. Take a look at your story and the moves you chose. How can you combine the moves? Let me show you what I did. Now it's all you. Give it a try. Does it feel like you're expressing your story clearly? Perform it for a family member who knows the story and ask them what they think. You could even teach them the moves and see if they have anything to add as you dance together. Have fun with it, keep practicing, and we'll see you next time. Bye, five, six, seven,